How's it going guys? This is Twist and I'm back with another GTA Online video with of course the Lowrider DLC and we have specifically a video showcasing the new D-Class Moonbeam which is a brand new car in the game and it's also one of the ones with the awesome Lowrider customization so as you can see it's looking hella sweet. I've gone for a really cool green and gold kind of customization on it. You can see the interior, you can see the speakers which I'm still yet to show you guys in full but here's the general exterior, we're going to first person, so we've gone for the green and gold, it's a dark green with a lime green pearlescent, we've got some nice chrome rims with the gold, um, with like the gold secondary tin, we've got the, the, the thin white walls, and then it's, uh, it's, it's quite a nice clean vinyl, I wasn't uh, a big fan of the other vinyls, but I thought this one, the, I think it was just classic gold stripes or something like that, it was the first option and I think it just looked the nicest, we've got the spare tyre, We've got the, the little ladder on the back as well. We've actually got a roof extension. Uh, and of course, we've got the hydraulics, which I will show you guys um, actually when we get into the vehicle. But first things first, I want to show you guys the speaker system because the speaker system is insane. What you have to do is you have to go to your interaction menu and then uh, you go on pretty much all doors or just, you know, you can choose which doors you want. But I'm going to go all and then you just hit X or A to open. And look at that. It's so cool, it even does the animation with your car keys. And look at the speaker systems we've got going on. So we've got speakers on the doors, we've got obviously speakers inside the, in between the rear seats, in between the front seats, all on the dashboard, and then the massive sound system in the back. Uh, this is also where the hydraulics are. But I think this is just awesome, it's so, so cool. The level of visual customization that we have now with uh, with these specific cars, it's so awesome, and I'm uh, I'm gonna have a bold prediction, but I don't think we're done with this customization. I don't think it's gonna be limited to these uh, these six cars for long. We're definitely gonna see more cars in the future that will uh, also have this level of customization on. I, I just can't see it being these six, but look at this. I really like this um, this color scheme. As you see, we've got the uh, the V8 Chrome engine with the twin air filters. Uh, we've got um, we've got a front grill as well. I think it's billet grill. It's really, really. This thing is really, really awesome. I love it to pieces. I think just the the, the DLC as a whole, some of the stuff you can do. I'm still yet to um, to kind of uncover the whole patch notes and everything you can do. I haven't bought the new weapon yet, which I need to get around to doing. I need to check out the new clothes. But right now, as for the cars and the customization on the cars, I just think it's so awesome. But like I said, we're gonna have we're gonna have to go inside the car. And check out the hydraulics on this thing. So I think, I think I can, uh, can I go and close all my doors now? I think you can actually drive around with them open. Let's just show you guys. Like they stay open as well, which is just, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool, but we are going to close them for now. So interaction menu, uh, all doors, and then close. There we go. And then let's pop some of the hydraulics, man. Here we go. And then we you just play around with it. You can get some. You, when you get the timing right, it's hard to get the timing at first. See, I'm really screwing this up. But once you get the timing right, you flip your left stick upwards just as your front wheels are touching the ground. And you can get some really, really nice air on these. You can do it in all directions where you can do it left. If I can get it right. Come on. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it's going to do it. Nah, it's, it's just sticking. I'd, I've definitely got to still get the hang of these. Let's try. Let's try do the back ones. There we go. Come on. Yes. There we go. I'm still getting the hang of the actual timing and the actual movements that you need to do. But you can also do it while driving. So I'm going to try and get a little bit of speed going, and then pop the hydraulic. You can just drive around like that while it's lifted, which looks quite cool. But you hold RB, start to accelerate, and then flick the left stick. And there we go. So cool. It's so cool. But this is a this was just a showcase of the Moonbeam. I will also be doing the uh, the Willard faction soon, and I'll probably get round to uh, to customizing the other cars. Even though stuff like the Primo and the Chino aren't new, I will still get round to customizing because all the different cars have their own unique customization. And the kind of unique thing about the Moonbeam was all the speaker systems and stuff, which I thought was really cool. So uh, yeah, definitely. Stay tuned to the channel for more of the lowrider DLC cars and the customization that's all 
unique to them as I will be uh, upgrading all the cars. I did the voodoo, done the moonbeam now, we'll be getting around to the faction and then after that let me know in the comments which car you want to see after the faction and obviously I'll get, I'll get around to doing that video first. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video, if you did make sure you do leave it a like rating and uh, comment down below your thoughts and as always subscribe to the channel if you are new and you want to keep up to date with all the videos and hopefully I'll see you all in my next video. See you later guys.